Darn it. Okay, actually, let's go back because I want to participate in this one. Because that's an achievement. Okay, there we go. Now we can participate in the bug off. Even though I did really like the music for that time of day and the sunset vibe. I was really digging it, but it's okay. We will just use this one for now or do the bug off. Maybe we'll change the time when we're done with the bug off. There we go. Now I can participate. Alright. Very good. Let's do it. All right. Three minutes. Catch as many bugs as I can. Going straight to the flowers. Oh, man. Got them. Got him. Where else? Ooh. I don't have a pole. I can go over there. Ooh, bug. Got him. I was <laughs> saying, got him after each one. All right. Where are the other bugs? Hear a bug. Brown cicada. Oh, is that a new one? I think that might be a new one for me. Bugs. Bug. doing that. That's so weird. And got him. Wow. I feel like bug catching is so much more satisfying than fishing because fishing just takes so long to like find a fish and then to hook it 
you gotta like wait for it to like bite and then it sometimes it takes forever you can just bug catch so much faster nice and there was a balloon where did it go got him oh man one more that's awesome i didn't think i was gonna get another one oh and then my net breaks that's funny then my net breaks okay i'll wait for this balloon what's my achievement catching bugs oh no oh participating in the bug off good that's what i wanted the achievement for doing the thing okay nice i'll have to get another net if i'm gonna do any more bug catching which i might do because it's a good day because you can just keep doing the bug off and getting points for it oh a table lamp all right all right nice I don't know if I just got the brown cicada for the first time, so I'm gonna take that one. Cause I might need to donate that one. Buy them all. Whoa, so, cool. Okay. Um, yeah, oh, it wasn't new, okay. I don't know why I thought the brown cicada was a new one. No, I need a different cicada. Whatever that one is. Oh, I'm getting close. On that cricker, critter, cricker, crickerpedia. Let's see. I need another net. Let's just get two. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Bugs. Oh, that was stinky. Whoops. Oh wow, there we go. And I saw something. I didn't even see that one green guy. Whoa. Is that a stink bug? Yeah. It's the cricket or grasshopper. If you're watching the replay, sorry, I'm being quiet. Nobody's on at the moment. Let's see. Got him. 
Orchid Mantis. Okay. Another Mantis. Got it. Alright. Where are you going? Come here. Got him. Look, there's a bee. I bet I can catch it too. I think that's more than my last one. I think I had 13 on the last one. So... Can I get one more? Yes! I love it when that happens. Okay, that's it. All right. All right, let's sell my books. Can I use my points for a bug rug? <laughs> a ladybug rug. Okay, redemption. Ten points. And a bug vest. A bug aloha shirt. Okay. I'll redeem another. Okay. What is it? A spider web. Oh. I think this is something I've never really done. Oh, you can't put it up? Does it go in the corner of your house? Maybe. Maybe that's the thing. Okay. Oh, oops, sorry. Sorry, bro. Okay, can I do it again? I'll do it one more time. Just to see. We'll try one more time. Sure thing. Okay. Okay, here we go. Bug. I mean, it's all going towards my. Um. It's all going towards my overall catch anyways, which I need to continue to catch bugs to get the achievement for- Oh, fudge. No, don't leave me, bugs. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Oh, come on. What in the world? I did so good those first two. And now I'm going crazy. Alright. Got him. Do the ants again. Every time I walk away, the ants come back. That's okay. It's like a guarantee bug every time. Alright. Wonder if they'll be back yet. No, not yet. Wonder how long it takes the ants to spawn every time you catch them. I've caught them at least twice in every round. Yeah. Look at me paying attention and not running around like a crazy person. Oh no! My orchid mantis is gone. Okay. Alright, honeybee. Okay. I don't think I'm going to break my other record because I think I had 15. I know. I think I had 16 on the last one. I'm only at 10. I have to find like five bugs like right now. I'm going to take him from you. I'm so sorry. I know. He's like, yo, I was trying to catch that guy. You were never going to catch him though. If we're being real. Okay. 
finish the ants again. All right, guys, come on, just a couple more bugs. All right, over here. Is there any more that spawned? Yes, ink bug. Oh, can I get the bee? Can I get it before it times out? Yes, I did. Nice, okay. And I broke my net. Look at that, that's happened twice now, right on the last bug of the bug off. My net breaks. Crazy. Okay, before we talk about this, let me just let me just do this. Cause I am like getting all the presents. What is it? No. Oh. Leggings, okay. <coughs> you can buy my bugs. All right, so and let's see what else, what other kind of merch we can get. A bug bag. Okay. I'm curious what this looks like. Oh, it's that backpack. Okay. Well, that's cool. I guess I'll be done with the the bug. Well. Yeah, I'll be done with the bug off for now. Let's put some stuff away. No, that is not what I meant to do at all. I meant to put things away. There, no. Ugh. If I can click the correct button. There we go. Okay. Ooh, I thought I got quite a few things. Oh, I was leaving the pipe out. That's right. These. Put that away, too. Alright, so the last time I was on, which I think was Saturday, I was building, crafting items decorating um, I crafted a good bit and I went and got some other items I'll go to yeah we'll go to happy home paradise first and buy things from the shop there and then we'll go to Harv's and see if we can get some stuff from Leaf. Hopefully, maybe Leaf will have different bushes this time. Are there any cute villagers right now? Not really. No. Oh. No. Okay then. Absolutely not. All right. Mm, that's kind of cute. Sure. We'll buy this. We'll buy this, because I think the owl clock is cute. We can buy this fan. I don't think I have a ceiling fan. All right, I don't need the other things. I will order some things. Okay, at the very bottom,
Oh, geez. Such a big catalog. I've never even seen all the variations for this. That's so cute. This is the one thing, man. Happy Home Paradise. That's what makes it worth it. This right here. This catalog. That you can go and order stuff. I want the green one. I want the brown one. And I want the black one. So that I have all the options. I don't think I'll need the white one. That's cute. Is that an order to limit to a max of five per customer per day? Darn. There are so many options here. All right. And now to Harv's place. <coughs> Excuse me. Visit Harv's Island. Yep. We are. Oh goodness, it is the hydrangea bushes and the camilla bushes and the plumerias, which I don't like, but I do need tomato starts. I actually need a lot of plant starts or whatever they are plant, um, not just plants, um, crops. That was the word I was looking for. Ooh, a recipe, oh, recipe for a hedge. I don't think I have that. Very cool. Thank you. Okay. Oh, weed start. I'll take five. And I'll probably do five more of the tomatoes. I don't remember how many crops I need to plant. But right now I have sugar cane and I have potatoes and carrots. I feel like there's another crop. I'm just adjusting my shoot seat. Okay. Okay. Let's see. We'll go ahead and unlock you. Oh, wow. Sure. Very cool. Alright. Oh, that means I can't donate anymore today, right? Darn. I'll have to do that again later. Oh, Harriet's here. Yes. Sure. Let's give it a try. There was a hairstyle Harriet did once on me. Uh, no. 
Um, and I've been trying to get her to do it again. I guess it's random. But I always do it anyways to unlock different styles, so. <sighs> All right. Oh, I'm gonna just run all over the place. Here we go. Ready to go home. Here we go. It looks like someone's on. Hello and welcome. If you're just hanging out. Or if you're just got it on the background, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining. Also, thank you for liking the stream. All right, now gotta plant these crops. Where are the crops? Here they are. Oh, I gotta learn this. Boom. Got the hedge recipe. I got something. I'm like kind of planting these just anywhere because I'm just trying to get the achievement. What did I get? Probably a Nooks Plus. Oh no, it was one. Okay, cool. All right, okay. So I have to plant 50 and then even more. Oh my goodness. Well, we will, <laughs> we'll see about 50 today. I don't know if we'll do 50 today. And then we'll take these guys and sell them because that's another achievement. For those of you that are just joining, welcome, and thank you for liking this stream. Um, also, though, um, oh, I guess that's not, that's not grown yet. Okay, I see. Um, yeah, there we go. You get achievements for doing these little tasks, and one of my goals for this island is to get all of the e achievements i don't even know what some of them are but i want to get them all yes let's sell 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 is that it yes and that should give me get me closer on another achievement because it's sold vegetables maybe it's not Oh, maybe it sold fruit. I might be wrong. Nothing feels quite like harvesting vegetables. Okay, so you get one just for harvesting it, but you don't have to sell it. Oh, oops. Oh, well. <laughs> there is another one for selling stuff, too. So, anyways. Um, yeah. So. <clears throat> it's okay. These will grow quick. And speaking of, do I have a watering can? No. Probably water these because then you'll get more out of them. So. Huh? Um, not right now. Well, okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine. All right. There we go. don't haven't been really watering things on this island very much I guess I need to because there's another achievement for watering flowers but I've been kind of focusing on some of the other achievements instead of the watering one because to me watering flowers is like one of the most annoying things I don't know why either I mean it's not it's not too bad to do I guess it's just it feels annoying to me I don't know I have to get in the habit of doing it more. 
I need to anyways, because I need these flowers to grow. Um, or to multiply, rather. Because um, I don't have enough of these colors right now. And I need more. And I don't really feel like taking trips to islands to get more. Because it takes so darn long to do that. It's just very annoying. Candy Corn Teeth, hi, welcome. Welcome to the stream. How are you? I don't think I've seen you on here before. All right. Watering. You know, I'm not a huge fan of wind flowers, but I actually do kind of like the purple ones. Those are really pretty. I don't think I have really seen those before. And I'm not really sure if I'm going to use these orange flowers too. I like these purple roses because I think they're really pretty. But they don't necessarily match the theme of my colors as much. So my plan was to use them, but I don't know. See, I have to water like 500 flowers, and it'll probably be a thousand next on the next level of achievement. But we'll see. See this to me, it's just like, it takes so long. Okay, well I got that. I think I got all these. Oh no, they're not sparkly. I guess I didn't get these yet. Whoops. Okay. These over here. Hello. Hey and welcome. Um, I'm not sure what your username is. Is it in Inger87? I'm not sure. But hi. what oh okay sorry guys my husband just walked in from work and he was saying hi do you want to say hi hello <laughs> okay all right all right i did the flowers so i don't have any more flowers to water so that's a thing um, I was going to clean up. Oh, it's a typical shortened version of Engineer. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Well, hello, Engineer87. Good to see you. All right, let's see. You can close that door. Thank you. Close the door, please. Thank you. All right. Inger. <laughs> My pronunciation is better. Inger. Oh, thanks. Inger. It's like Inger. I don't That's terrible. I don't know. My kids and husband are doing their thing they're going in and out because my uh my office is like right by the garage door where we go in and out of the house and the kids are all like wanting to go outside okay seriously can i hit the balloon yes they want to go outside and then my husband got home from work and they were all like talking to him and stuff so it's a little distracted for a second but anyways oh and you know what before it gets more before i get going anymore have dinner set and I was just gonna tell him to put it in the oven. Give me one second. Mm. 
There we go. There we go. I didn't want to cook it until he got here. Just in case. Sometimes he hits traffic on the way home and it takes forever. Okay. So my other plan is to kind of clean this up because I know everybody is like, wait, what? I want to clean up this spot here and kind of redo it. I like a lot of it, but not all of it. So I was going to clean this up and I do like my placement of my houses, but I almost want to connect them through here. And I got some different um, uh, custom codes that I wanted to try over here because I really only use this dirt and the moss path. I kind of want to use some other paths, but I'm probably honestly going to change the time of day to like later in the day so that it's kind of sunset or dark because my plan is to set this island in kind of like maybe just past sunset time. I don't know, but I wanted to use some other items over here and mix it up a little bit more. So I'm going to do that. What's for dinner? Oh, dinner is chicken nuggets, chicken tenders, and tater tots. That is that is dinner tonight. I didn't want to cook like a whole big thing tonight. So we're having the frozen chicken nuggets and tater tots. I found some... some um, you know, I'm just going to put these pipes away. I'm not going to use them right now. Anyways, I found some chicken that's, they're called um, Just Bear brand, and they are really good, actually. They almost taste like Chick-fil-A. Um, they're like, they're really, really good, and if you air fry them instead of like putting them in the oven, in the oven they're good. But if you air fry them, they're like so good. They taste almost just like Chick-fil-A. So that's usually what we do. Um, but yeah, we're going easy. We've had a few things this week that have been crazy. So we've been a little busier. So we're going easy night. The best, yes. And of course you have to buy the bottled. Oh, hello. Okay. Just going to say hi to Bo, I guess. Weird dreams. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I feel like some of the lazy villagers are like some kind of the gross villagers. <laughs> like they have mold growing in their houses, some of them. I don't know if that's just Bo and Eric, but I feel like a lot of the lazy villagers are that way. Oh, but anyways, yeah, we're gonna have some, um, we've got the bottled Chick-fil-A sauce that you can buy, of course, the best. So it's gonna be it's gonna be delicious. Oh, but those um the just bit bear um chicken is um they have like original they have chicken tenders and chicken nuggets. They have two different types and then they have original and spicy. And um I can't buy the spicy ones everywhere. They only have them at um Kroger. But uh, the original ones I can get from Sam so I can get like a huge bag of them and they last forever but yeah my kids easy dinner is the best yes easy dinner for sure how many kids do you have I have three <clears throat> so usually something I can make large quantities of quickly is a good thing We're going to pop the balloon. Pop. Got him. Bells. Yeah. Love it. All right. I'm just going to put this stuff away. It feels kind of pointless because I just decorated that area to like take it down. But... I'm like kind of feeling out what I want for this island and I'm being a little bit particular so 
I'm kind of, um, I'm being a little indecisive and I just kind of put that small area together to, <laughs> what? That was funny. Oh, did she miss the bug? Is that why? That's funny. Um, but yeah, I, I put that area together kind of as like a, almost a mood board type of build. We have to. They eat just anything, just about. Oh, that's nice. Yes. My kids are a little picky. I, I take that back. One of my kids is picky. Um, my oldest and youngest are not as picky. They have specific things they like, like, that they don't like. But they'll try just about anything. But my middle one is quite picky when it comes to most food. So, I love chicken and food tater tots because it is appealing for everyone can you get certain neighbors or do you recommend them kicked from the island until you get okay so for neighbors um so yeah in order to get like villagers that you want on your island oh shoot somehow I've didn't stunt this guy um so you have to i did notice this um and i didn't know this for a fact but i found this out when i played this time and maybe this was just my game i don't know if this happens to everyone but when i restarted this time so the first time i ever played i just went to random mystery islands and talked to whatever villager was on that island and then they came to live on my island. Um, but I later found out that you can not talk to, so like if you go to a mystery island and there's a villager there, which they'll only um, appear whenever you have houses that are open for them to fill. Um, so anyways, when you're playing the beginning of the game, yeah, you'll only find villagers on mystery islands whenever there's a spot in your, on your island for them to move into. Um, and when you do that, um, sorry, I completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh, I'll get there. I'll get there, guys. Okay, so whenever you have a spot to fill, then you'll go to a mystery island and then you can talk to the villager there. But you can also leave the island and then go to a different island. Like, so when you leave a mystery island, you leave everything there. And then whenever you ask to travel to another mystery island, it's like a new one. It refreshes every time. And so then you can um, go to a different mystery island and there will be a different villager. And you can just keep doing that over and over until you find the villager that you want. Um... Or you can just take whoever's there. So if you know of specific villagers, like I really wanted um, Bo, which is the one, the deer. I love him. And I really wanted um, Lolly, I think is her name, the gray bear that's been walking around. She's really cute. I don't know where she is now. She was just, there she is. Olive, not Lolly. Lolly is a cat. Olive is a bear. I really wanted her, so I actually um, kept going to islands until I found her, and when I found her, I was like, okay, cool, I want that one, and I went and talked to her, and then she moved to my island, um, but if there's not a vacant spot on your, um, on your island, then no villagers will show up on the mystery islands, um, so yeah, that's pretty much how that works. But you don't have to, like, when you go to a mystery island, if you don't talk to the villager, then you'll still have a vacant spot and you can keep going to different islands until you find a villager that you want. If that makes sense. It was like a really long <laughs> explanation for that. Um, I have a hard time staying on track. I can, like, just chat, like, about random stuff. But if I'm trying to finish a thought and play this game at the same time, I cannot. I just get so 
I get so distracted. Okay, now I gotta go put some stuff down. So I've got my kind of like headquarters for stuff all over here in the front. Um, it's just easy to grab stuff whenever I need it when I'm decorating. This is bull honky. See, there's even a spot. Come on now, game. The way it doesn't let you plant stuff aggravates me. Okay, there we go. Nice, thanks for the answer. You're welcome. I, that was a crazy drawn out answer, sorry, but yeah. Um, another thing, some people, so like, I do sometimes go to Treasure Islands. I try not to, because they're kind of annoying, but I try to go sometimes. And usually when you visit Treasure Islands, the all the villagers on the island are in boxes ready to go. It's, I don't know how they set it up, but they set it up that way. And so, when you want a specific villager, you can sometimes go to a Treasure Island if you have a plot open and ask that person to move to your island. If you go to one of those islands and you don't have a plot open, you can still ask them to move in with you, but then, or to, to come to your island, to move to your island, and then the villager will come back and they'll say, oh, sorry, I just talked to your resident services, and, <laughs> excuse me, sorry about that, just had a sneeze. Um, but they'll come back to you and they'll be like, oh, I just talked to your resident services and it looks like you don't have any room for me. Oh, well, maybe next time or something like that. Um, so, yeah. It's typically how villagers work. So like half of mine I want on my island and the other half I don't and also the other thing is whenever you start out you know you get whatever villagers start out on your island you don't get to pick those it's random every time I'm gonna leave this guy there because that's actually probably where I'm good he's gonna stay um, So, my starter villagers for this island were Renee, which is this one, and Poppy. No, this one, Lyman. Those were my two starter villagers. So, neither of them have asked to move out yet. I did have another villager ask to move out. I don't remember who it was. But they asked to move out, and then I was able to replace them. Um, I pretty much am going to replace these. I don't know if I'll replace Bam or not because he's so cute. I really like him. But I'm not sure if he'll match the theme for the island. So, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to replace him or not. I'm going to keep Olive. I want her. I'll probably keep Piper too because she's cute. And then, of course, Bo and Eric. They already have their home set over there in the back corner. So... Those two I'll definitely be keeping. So, yeah. Um, and I'm not sure. I like the wolves. Fang and Wolfgang, they're cool. I like most of the wolf characters in this game. I think they're really cute. Um, so, I haven't decided yet. Like, if one of them asks to move, I might let them move. Because I do have some other villagers that I might ask or try to find and ask to come over. But I don't have, like, a set list of villagers that I want for this island. Also, for this one, in the past, I've always um, had to um, – sorry, lost my train of thought again. In the past, I haven't had HHP. Both of my previous islands I did, I didn't have the Happy Home Paradise um, expansion DLC. 
And so um, I hadn't been able to customize villager houses to whatever color I want. So both of these, I kind of left them very similar to how they look because I like the log cabin, but I did customize the colors a little bit. Like I changed the door color to green on this one and the roof color to green on this one and just kind of darkened them a little bit um, because I have that expansion ability. So I'm not quite as concerned with whose villager or like with having villagers that have cute houses or houses that match my island because if I like the villager then I can adjust their house to be whatever I want it to look like so it'll match I haven't played New Horizons in about a year my neighbors are gonna sass me off the island <laughs> they probably will that's hilarious um I, I didn't realize when I first started playing, it was so funny to me how the villagers get so like, oh wow, where have you been? I haven't seen you in like a year. Um, super funny. One time though, my um, I had started my new game and my kids were playing on the Switch and they were playing Fortnite. And I guess Fortnite had like a season specific season thing that was coming out and so my son he didn't know like that I had been playing in a specific time um on Animal Crossing and so he was like oh I the time's wrong on here so he just changed it and I went to go play my Animal Crossing and I forgot or I didn't know that he had changed the time uh, or the date and um all my villagers were like whoa I haven't seen you in like a forever or something and I was like what do you mean I was just on a couple days ago and then I looked and I was like oh the date is wrong <laughs> so I had to change it back it was kind of funny oh my goodness let's see this is kind of tedious Especially when you do a lot of like custom designs. I don't usually, if I put stuff down, I don't usually like to pick it back up or clean up an area. Because um, it does take a little bit of time. And it's kind of, it feels like it's kind of mindless work. Because you're just kind of walking around picking things up and digging things up. And then you have a bunch of holes. And it's a whole thing. But I just, uh was not fully sold on all the colors and items that I used so so I'm gonna do it again my other thing is a lot of my other islands have been kind of cottage core esque and like I did a fall island and I've done uh, I've done a garden esque island I say esque gardeny whatever you want to say sort of island um but um i've never done one quite like this where i want it to be like a garden but i also kind of want it to be dark and almost kind of like a fairy glow type of vibe sort of um because I really want to use some of the glowing items. Because I think the glowing items are like the coolest ever. You know what? I'm going to get some meals out of here. And stop like eating the fruit one by one. Be oh no, not put something away. Pick, get something out. Um. Anyways, I love like the, all the glowing moss items are so cute. And um, there's a lot of items that are... Like the green mushroom par partitions, I think they're so cool looking, and I've wanted to use them. Some of the bamboo items I want to use. Um, there's been like a few things that I'm looking at, and I want to use these because I think the wedding candles are really pretty. Um, but anyways, yeah. So I've okay. I think I skipped my food. Where's the food? There's the food. I was looking for like the covered dish looking items and I skipped right past the food. There we go. 
Um, but yeah, I want to use some like glowy items and some different stuff like that. And that none of that kind of stuff has ever matched the theme for my island before. So I was like, okay, well, I need to just do a different theme then because um, I think these are really cool items. Just like this code too, this like glowing moss code. I thought it was really cool. And uh, again, it didn't match anything that I had. So I was like, okay, well then I need to do a different theme so that I can incorporate some of these items because they're really neat. I haven't seen a whole lot of swampy or like like a garden swamp fairy dark it's a lot of descriptive words a glowy theme would look really good thank you yeah <coughs> that's what i'm thinking and that's why i want to set it kind of maybe not quite at sunset maybe um maybe like maybe it'll be dark i don't know thought about even setting the the dream address in the rain so I thought that might be kind of cool too do 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 And I'll probably leave this little pathing right there because that looks fine. And I'm going to leave this behind this house too because it's not going to be very visible and um, there's not really many items back there. Oh shoot. We'll just drop this guy right here. There we go. Put my stuff over here. All right. Put this over here and put this over here. Yeah, I don't know if I like these but it just feels like it's a very different purple than I don't know I don't know it might still work it might still work we'll see put that there and put this here all right Now we can go pick up our theme. All right, so this place, this spot over here is a little empty, so I'll probably fill that in with some trees. I just want it to feel very woodsy and full behind the house there. I didn't necessarily have anything um, that I wanted to put specifically back there. I might try to use a couple of glowy mushroom items, like the glowing mushroom lamp. Um, you know what? That's actually not a bad idea. I don't know if I have one. Oh, let me just... I don't know why I just left this bamboo, like, just out in the middle of everywhere. There we go. There we go. Okay. I'll go around and fill in these holes. And I'll probably have to get ready to um, post on, I guess I could post on my Instagram, um, my codes that I'm using for this island. I didn't do those on live or anything. I just sat here and I went through Pinterest and found a bunch of things that I liked. So this code is really cute. It's almost kind of like a swampy green. And I really liked it and I wanted to use it. I saw it a while ago and saved it. And I was like, one day I'm going to do a swamp themed island and I want this code. <laughs> so here it is. Everything's very green. I liked this glowing moss. I thought that was a really neat path. 
course, you have to have kind of a plain dirt path, which this is one of my favorite paths. And it has the greenery on it, which I think is pretty. These are all for um, interiors. And this is for interior. This I might use if I can find a good blanket pattern, but right now I haven't found a good blanket pattern. I do need to find some more codes. I just haven't taken the time to sit down and do that. I need to change this. There was one of these, this corner that had purple instead of the um, red. So I'll need to switch this out. But this is a cute little blanket. It looks like a little picnic blanket and it was cute. So I grabbed it. So yeah, I still need to bolster up my codes though. Primarily what I've got is just rocks and leaves and pathing. Um... But I haven't had time to sit down and really do codes that much. Maybe we can look at some. Maybe we can look at some now. I don't know. What do you guys think? Would that be super boring? Or should we look at some codes? Today was kind of a... Um, just a chill stream. I knew I was going to play today. And I was like, okay, well... I can go ahead and stream while I play. Mm. If anybody gets on, great. If they don't, that's okay, too. <laughs> uh, but I'm just going to be kind of... Do you know, I have I have popped... I've gotten four of these from balloons. What is it with this item in my game? I've gotten so many of them. Um, but I don't know, guys. Did, would you want to do code shopping with me? Possibly. Possibly. While we're waiting on a response, I'll go over here. See if I can't craft some of the mushroom lamps. Where's my thing? Here it is. I am her son. Thanks. Uh, which son is this that is in the chat? Thank you for clarifying that for everyone. <laughs> Is it Sam or Isaac? Okay. I need mushrooms. Oh, but I don't remember which kind I need. I think these guys are for the thingy. I think it's these guys. It'll be one of these three, I believe. Hi, Sam. Alright. Where's the mushroom stuff? Here it is. This guy. I've got to have clay. Okay. Clay it is. Haha, I have some. Nice. <laughs> Sam is the one. Hello, Sam. <laughs> You're crazy. My children are crazy. They're on spring break this week, so they are they are having a good old time. Okay, so I think this is the one that's kind of greenish. Yeah. You know what's so crazy about those though? The mush lamp to me. So like this one is green. But when you turn it off, it's brown. I don't understand that. I'm going to be completely honest. Like, why is it... Why is it green when it's lit and when it's not, it's brown? That's so strange. But whatever. It's fine. Oh, I have that beetle. Okay. 
It's almost like, ooh, do I need to catch that guy? Fill up my Critterpedia. That's been another one of my goals. Is to fill up my Critterpedia. I need to... There you go, I'm stunned you. Okay. Now that I have some pocket space... What other mush things can I <clears throat> can I do? I guess we'll do another one of these. I want to see the other colors though. I don't recall. I know that the the plain one is like green looking. No, I didn't want to keep crafting. I want to customize. There we go. Let's see what this guy looks like. White, strange. See, I do like the blue, but what color is it whenever it's not lit up? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter because it's gonna be night and it's gonna be lit up. In which case I would want it to be green because that matches my colors. Okay, that's fine. We'll just keep it, keep it ordinary. Another balloon. Oh my goodness. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? A large cafe table. What does that even look like? Oh, okay. Alright. That's cool. Don't need it right now, but that's cool. Alright. put this guy out here. My pockets are crazy. They're super crazy. How long have we been on stream? It does not even say. Yeah, I know. I don't know if the um Stream quality is okay. Hopefully it's good, I guess. Um, okay, we've been on for an hour. Okay, I can see it now. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. I don't know if y'all heard any of that, but... Oh my gosh, <laughs> my two boys are crazy, running through the hall, giggling, don't even know. So, gosh, I'm like so torn. I want to decorate, but I also kind of want to make sure that I can get all, <gasps> wait, you know what we can do? I know what we can do before we do anything else. <laughs> we have barely any pocket space which is great what i'll just gonna go ahead and put these things away i've been holding on to them so that i don't forget what i need but i'm just gonna put them away because i tend to do that whenever i am when i take things out of my pocket i tend to forget that i need them and then um i'm decorating and i'm like oh yeah what it was i wanted to use but before i do anything else i am going to shake trees because it's another achievement okay nothing in that one all right we got a stick anything nothing because in case you didn't know this you can get items dropped from trees you can get two every day and there is an achievement for getting them. So, that's what we're going to do. And I like to... Um, I like to keep my net on me whenever I'm shaking trees because wasps. Haha! -ha! We got one. It's a wall clock. Nice. You can get two. Usually... If I get one, I'm kind of usually kind of like, oh, okay, that's fine. Um, 
but sometimes if I'm feeling ambitious, I'll go for two. But that means that I have to sit there and shake every single tree on my island, which can be a bit much, but I try, I try to do it. You can tell because it makes a different sound whenever it drops. So y'all might be like, you can't even tell what's being dropped. Um, whenever the money or the little sticks get dropped, they make that noise. And when the item drops, it's kind of like a woo hoo hoo hoo. I, I can't make the noise. Also, my voice is still half gone and I've been trying to uh, get it back from being sick almost two weeks ago now. So you'll have to excuse my um, nasally half gone back voice. I'll try to be quiet so we can hear if the next one drops. I did not know that was a wasp's nest until I heard the sound. Wow, okay, I didn't see that at all. That's crazy. It's a good thing I have my net. Oops. Another wasp's nest. Oh no, oh no! I wasn't far enough in front of it. Darn. My timing was off. Oh well. I got stung. What you gonna do? Oh my gosh, it's again. Okay, got it that time. If I'm like in a weird position next to the tree, usually I can just click if I'm far enough in front of the tree my character will automatically turn towards the wasps and then you just click the catch button and you're good to go. Ah, oh, that was it. Did you guys hear it? See? There it is. That was it. All right. So I got my two items probably need to take some medicine so I don't look like this anymore. <laughs> I have to make some though because I don't have any. And a balloon! A balloon. I have no idea what my kids are doing, but I keep hearing the door open and close, open and close, open and close, like on repeat. All right. Now I can take some medicine. What did I get an achievement for? Crafting something? Yup. Nice. It's just enough miles plus though. Okay, so well, this one. Try to talk to all your neighbors every day. You know, I have been trying to get the 20th one. You know what? Let's go do it now. Hold up. Let me get my... Uh, so I found this app. Um, a friend told me about it. It's called ACNH Guide. And um, it is literally an app that you can log everything that you do in Animal Crossing. Which I think is really cool. Um, 
so anyways um you can set your time to whatever you know date or that you're playing in and um let's see oh my kids did change the, the time okay interesting i guess they changed it oh i think they played fortnite recently if that makes sense Six, okay. Okay. Five twenty seven. Okay. I'm gonna make sure that my date is right on my app. Um, so you can set it to your island and it you can log what villagers you have and it has like a little tracker for you to do every day. So um, when you shake down your items, there's a little tracker on there that you can click to show, okay, I did this for this game or for this day. And um, it has, the villagers have little bubbles that you can tap when you talk to them. And that way you can track that you've talked to your villagers every day. Okay, here's Renee. We've talked to her. It's one thing I think I forget to do more often than anything else is talk to my villagers because I'm just running around. I don't think about stopping to talk to them. Uh, we did talk to Bo already, so I'll check him off because we talked to him earlier. Whenever. Oh, and I talked to Olive already as well. And now I'm going to talk to Poppy. Is it Pappy or Poppy? Poppy is like P-O-P-P-Y, but Pappy, it, Pappy just doesn't sound right. Maybe he is Pappy. I don't know. Because it's kind of like Papa, but with an I. So I thought Poppy. I'm not sure. So funny. All right, Piper, Fang, checked you off. Wow, this is so convenient. All the villagers are out and about. Let's see, who's this? Is this Bam or Wolfgang? I do not recall. I think this is Wolfgang's house. It is. What's up? Hello. It's been forever since I've seen you. Yeah, I know. Who else we got? We gotta talk to Eric and Bam and here's Bam. There you are. Where are you? Where'd you go? Oh my gosh, where are you? He was right here, y'all. Okay, there he is. <laughs> I can see him. Okay, talked to you. Very good. Now, Lyman, did I talk to him? No, I stole his bug earlier, but I didn't talk to him. I took his bug and left. Because I'm a meanie. Okay. Let's go see if Eric is like back here in his house. Because his house is back here. He might be hanging out over here. What is that? I don't know that I have this bug. Hold on. It, he lo it looks different. I'm going to try... To see. I feel like maybe I've caught it, but I don't know. What is that? Oh. Yeah, I have it. Okay. Alright. I'm always cautious of what bugs I have. Okay, so this is Eric. Bo is the darker one. Eric is this one. Okay. <coughs> oh, goodness. It's dark. I just realized. There we go. Hello, Eric. Yay, he finally talked to me. Oh, that's so sad. His house I also um, redid because I just wanted it to not be snowy. Eric's um, house is kind of like a ski slope on the inside. It's very snowy. So I redid it to be kind of jungly and green and... I put the uh, 
I felt like he would have a pet cricket. I don't know. I just thought he would. I was kind of torn. I, I wanted to do a cool little design. I thought maybe he would have kind of like a woodsy area in his. Oh my gosh. When you step on that mat, does it glow? Stop it. That's so cute. Anyways, I feel like he would have his house kind of open to like the woods so that his bug friends could get in and out easily. Um, I don't know. This just kind of felt very Eric. So hopefully it's not too boring. I thought it was kind of cute. So yeah, that was one of the houses that I redesigned. I redesigned his and Bo's. I could probably do better if I spent some more time on it, but I, I didn't want to spend more time on it whenever I was doing that. Okay, so I got Eric. I got, okay, I just need Lyman, Lyman, however you pronounce his name. I have the hardest time pronouncing these villagers' names, to be perfectly honest. He's not home. So he's gotta be out and about. He's probably hiding behind one of these houses. There's Renee. There's Pappy, Poppy, whatever his name is. And there's Bam. And Fang and Piper. Where is he? Where are you, green koala? Oh, there he is, hanging out at my house. Nice. Cool. And there it is. Another day. Another talking to everyone. Now I gotta do it 30 days in a row. Okay, let's go. Picked up a message in a bottle. Let's see if I have this recipe. I do. Okay. Well, that's just fine. So yeah, I guess I was gonna think about decorating that spot, but I think I'm gonna wait because <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna want to take a lot of time to do it. And to be honest, I wasn't planning on being on stream that long today. I was just kind of doing some tasks, figured I'd get on and chat for a bit, but I'm also quite hungry and am <laughs> wanting to eat dinner very soon. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, darn, I missed one. That's pretty much it for the stream today. I'm going to catch these bugs and sell them before Flick goes away. Um, so that I can get my catching bugs achievement. Oh my goodness, what in the world? I feel like mosquitoes are one of the hardest bugs to catch. I don't know why. If that's intentional in the game. I feel like I'm constantly like sitting there swinging for a mosquito for forever. <laughs> we'll just let it go. Take care. Bye bye then. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this stream. Maybe the next time I stream, I'll have my stuff in order so that I can um, accomplish something. Oh, I forgot I had all these wasps, too. I'll just sell all these guys. Cool. Nice. Wasps are worth so much more than the other bugs, than most other bugs. There's a couple of butterflies that are worth a lot. But yeah, so, oh, that's the other cool thing. I mentioned that app earlier that you can get to keep track of things on your island. The other cool thing about this app is that it, um, based on the time of day you have it set to, it will tell you um, what bugs are catchable during that time, and you can log what you have caught. And then also what sea creatures are catchable and what fish are catchable. 
and then you can again log what you have which is really cool um, for me because I forget what I have and I didn't know all of the different things that there are to catch and so it's nice because and um, try to make my way through completing the critterpedia because I forget kind of like like for example earlier that stag that I found on the um, tree like it looked to me like I might hadn't have caught that before even though I have I wasn't I couldn't remember so the this helps me to keep track of that pretty well so it's a really good one to have but anyways um yeah so I am probably going to go ahead and head out and get some dinner it looks like I've got three people on let me um Thank you guys. Bitrate is wrong. I don't understand how to change the bitrate. If anybody knows how to change the bitrate, <laughs> like is it a setting or what? I don't really understand. But my stream has been telling me that that is what it is. That the bitrate is wrong. That I need to change it. I just don't understand what that means. I'll have to look it up. Anyways, let me look and see if anybody's online that we can raid. See if there are any Animal Crossing streamers online at the moment that we can raid before I get off. No, no, no. What is it? No, I don't see anybody. If any of you are on and you see any streamers online that you like that we can raid, then feel free to anybody online. Because we might not have anybody to raid. Yeah, it looks like everyone streamed like yesterday or earlier today. That's four days ago. Okay. Well. Nope, that's four days ago. I keep seeing the little live icon on these thumbnails and thinking that they're live. And then I'm like, no, they're not. That was a live from a few days ago. So we won't raid anybody today. Um, we, can, we can do that. Maybe next time. Maybe one of these times I'll be on and we can get on and raid some people. The only person that I subscribe to that is alive right now is Chill Hop Music. <laughs> We're not going to raid Chill Hop Music because that's just an ongoing live. So anyways, thanks for joining me on stream and um, I'll probably look at streaming. I don't know. I thought about streaming tomorrow if I have time and in which case we would do a decorating stream instead of just a uh, running around doing random things <laughs> the whole time. So, yeah, thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye! <laughs>